Legend of Earth C, later shortened to Earth C, is a two-night television mini-series adaptation of the Earth C novels by Ursula K. Le Guin. It premiered on the Sci-Fi Channel in December 2004. Topic <laughs> plot. <laughs> In the land of Earth C, a young wizard named Ged has visions about a girl and doors opening. Meanwhile, King Tigerth wants to rule the land and release the nameless ones, demons from whom he hopes to learn the secret of immortality. He sends men to attack Ged's village, in search of the wizard of prophesy Ged. Ged learns his first spell from an elderly woman. When the invasion comes, Ged uses a mist spell and lures the invaders over a cliff, saving the village. However, Ged also falls off the cliff. Tigerth tries to convince High Priestess Thar to release the Nameless Ones, but she refuses. She is poisoned by Rosa, her attendant who has been tricked by the king's lover, Kossel, every time she has tea. A magus named Ogion arrives at Ged's village and revives Ged. He tells Ged his true name and takes him for training, but Ged is too impatient, he is sent to the magic school on Roke. There he meets the bully, Jasper, and befriends a student named Vetch. Ged shapeshifts into a hawk to show off. Jasper then challenges him to raise a spirit from the dead, leading him to accidentally release a nameless one. The demon attacks Ged before being driven away by the Archmagus, who tells him that this nameless one will hunt Ged down and try to possess him, using Ged's power for further destruction. Ged must go somewhere in hiding until he can find its true name and destroy it. With the help of Jasper, King Tigerth takes control of the magic school. He throws a knife at the Archmagus, apparently killing him and making Jasper the new Archmagus. With the help of Ogion, Ged confronts the Gebeth and attempts to drown him using a rock, however, it escapes with Ged's likeness and voice. Ged's impersonator becomes a murderer, and Vetch, a magus himself, chases Ged until he realizes Ged is not possessed by the Gebeth and they decide to hunt it together. They are attacked by the dragon, Ormimbar, but Ged uses the dragon's true name to bind him and ask three questions. He wastes his first question, but with his second, he learns the Gebeth's location. The dragon tells him where to find the two pieces of the Amulet of Peace, which when reunited would save Earth C, but Ged could have asked the true name of the demon. Meanwhile, Thar appoints a successor, Tenna, and tells her the incantation to release the Nameless Ones. Kossel strangles Rosa and frames Tenna, leading to her imprisonment. Ged and Vetch return to Roke for help in decoding the dragon's riddle. The Archmagus survived Tigerth's attack and made the real Jasper into a village fool as punishment. He sends Ged and Vetch to unseal the nameless tombs on Atuan, but Ged is captured and brought before Thar, who mistakes him for an evil wizard. In the labyrinth, Ged is locked in the cell next to Tenna. They break free and recognize each other from their visions. Thar realizes her mistake right before her death. Kossel tries to force Tenna to reveal the incantation and fails, so Tigerth kills Kossel and follows Tenna to the Gate of the Nameless Ones. Vetch finds the tomb first and is taken by the Gebeth. 
Ged encounters Tigerth in the labyrinth and fights him but then escapes into the tomb. He encounters the Gebeth and realizes its true name is his own, because it is the darkness in himself. The demon is absorbed into Ged, making him whole again and strengthening him to strike Tigerth in the tomb. Tigerth forces Tenna to release the Nameless Ones with the incantation. The Nameless Ones are released and take Tigerth into the sky before flying off. Ged reveals part of the key is the second half of the amulet. The Amulet of Peace is made whole, dispelling the Nameless Ones with a bright light and restoring peace to Earth-Sea. Ged is seen victorious with Tenna and they kiss. Characters Ged Sean Ashmore, a young mage in training Tenna Kristen Kruk, a priestess of Atuan High Priestess Thar Isabella Rossellini, the High Priestess of Atuan, Tenna's mentor. Ogion Danny Glover, a master wizard. King Tigerth Sebastian Roche, the power-hungry ruler of the Kargades. Kossel Jennifer Calvert, a priestess of Atuan, lover of Tigerth. Vetch, Chris Gauthier, a mage in training, friend of Ged. Jasper, Mark Hildreth, a mage in training and the school bully. Archmagus, Alan Scarf, headmaster of Roke Academy. The Gebeth, Mark Aitchison, the nameless one that comes after Ged. Dunian, Dave, Squatch, Ward, Ged's father. Lady Elfarin Amanda Tapping, a priestess mage who imprisoned the Nameless Ones ages ago. Skior Alessandro Giuliani, Ged's friend. Topic: <laughs> Production. The series was produced by Hallmark Entertainment in association with Bender Brown Productions. It was adapted by Gavin Scott the Mists of Avalon from the Earthsea novels for executive producers Robert Halmy Sr. Merlin, Gulliver's Travels, Animal Farm, Lawrence Bender, Kill Bill, Pulp Fiction, and Kevin Kelly Brown, Roswell. The series was filmed in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Topic: Critical reception. Reviewing the mini-series, the book The Ultimate Encyclopedia of Fantasy claimed Legend of Earthsea totally missed the point of Le Guin's novels ripping out all the subtlety, nuance and beauty of the books and inserting boring clichés, painful stereotypes and a very unwelcome epic war in their place." The Moria website's review of, "...Legend of Earthsea", states, "...Earthsea feels exactly like TV filler." In the books, Ursula Le Guin expended a great deal of time creating a world with a depth and culture, but nothing of this survives in the miniseries." The review also argues Legend of Earthsea, "...is shabbily and indifferently directed," and "...the dialogue is dreadfully clunky and often excruciatingly bad." Topic. Author's response Le Guin, author of the novels on which the miniseries is based, was not involved in the development of the material or the making of the production. 
She has written a number of responses to the handling of this adaptation of her works, A Whitewashed Earth Sea, and Frankenstein's Earth Sea. She noted, When I sold the rights to Earth Sea a few years ago, my contract gave me the standard status of consultant which means whatever the producers want it to mean, almost always little or nothing." And that, Mr. Lieberman, one of the producers, published a statement telling people what Ursula whom he has never met intended by the books. That changed the situation. They were taking advantage of my silence by sticking words in my mouth. I put a reply on my website. <laughs> 